Hey guys, it's Jalen. Welcome back. I'm here today to do my update for the Beauty A to Z project pan. This is a Fantastic Ladies Club project and it was created by Jessica and Amanda. And for this project, we are crazy people. And at the beginning of the year, we pick one product for every letter of the alphabet. So we start with 26 items and try to either use them up or meet a goal that we have identified for that item. So I... Oh, I have three things I'm rolling out this month. I finished two. I'm at my goal on one. <laughs> and I am down to very few items left. I'm feeling pretty good. So that sounded very Texan. I'm feeling really good about this project. So let me share with you the items that I finished first. The first one is for the letter D. And it is the Derma Doctor KP Duty physical exfoliation scrub finally finish this dang thing oh my gosh it's done it's done i'm so excited i mean this took me like eight over eight months to finish and i have a whole nother one of these to finish I've mentioned what I feel about this on several updates. I am going to use the one that I have left and would not repurchase it again. I don't love the formula. I want to find something to replace this. I'm going to try the Selsun Blue CeraVe thing. So that may end up replacing this overall. But yeah, so I'm just glad it's out of my collection. Yay. Woo. Okay, the next item I finished is for the letter I, and it is the It Cosmetics Confidence and a Cleanser. Yes, it's done. And what I'm so excited about because this is finished is that I can now pick a cleanser to use. Any cleanser I want. I have two minis I'm working on in my Turn and Burn project, but I decided to just put those in my shower and just use them in the shower because I want to use like a cream cleanser, like nothing that foams. That's what I want to use. I have the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Oil in my Fifty Shades of Purple project that I'm trying to finish up. So I'm currently using that as my take my makeup off cleanser. So I'm not using a balm cleanser right now. That's my first cleanse. And it's also typically my morning cleanser. So I'm just using it that way until that's finished. And then I'll go back to my typical Clinique Take the Day Off Balm Cleanser and a cream cleanser or an oil cleanser because we're getting to fall and winter. And that's really what my skin craves. So yes, this is done. Yay. Ooh. Okay, and the last item that I am able to roll out for the letter R, I'm able to roll out a lipstick. The Revlon Super Lustrous Lipstick in Sassy Mauve. Oh my gosh. Finally. So in my Project Polish in the Extras, I wore this lipstick, I think in that video, and I was measuring how well I, w I had, like how far I had to go on this lipstick during like my pre-filming ritual. And I was like, oh my God. I like, at first I didn't think about my goal and then I did. Anyway, if you want to check out like the extras, it's in that video. I shocked myself. Anyway, I met my goal. So my goal for this was to use one third. I usually only meet like do a goal of using a fourth of the bullet. And with this one, I was like, I want to use a third. And I did. So there is not a ton left in here. Eventually, this will be a lipstick I try to finish. It's probably going to go into a project next year. I'm not going to put it into a project this year. It's getting close to the end of the year. I mean, it's not, but the next thing we know, we're going to blink and it'll be like Thanksgiving. <laughs> but I do want to eventually finish this because this is a beautiful, I mean, I love this color. I love this color. But I just, I'm done with using it this year. Like I've, I've used 
so much of this I'm done with using it this year so we'll save it for next year but I do eventually want to finish this met my goal it's out of this project yes okay so I am down to seven items but really six because one I feel like I already met my goal on so six items awesome okay the first one is for the letter C and it is the Charlotte Tilbury lip cheat lip liner in pillow talk so here is the liner my goal is to use a third of this pencil and I did make progress on this so I'm not at my goal yet of course but I am making progress I do need to sharpen this so here is the pencil I am wearing this today and you know it's a beautiful shade I'm just making slow progress on this I'm really focusing right now on ColourPop Dopey, which is a lip liner in 21 and 21, I think. And this may be like the next one I focus on. I'm not 100% sure. I also have Pat McGrath Suburbia in a project, and those are the only other two lip liners I have in projects right now. So this may be the next one I focus on, but yeah, so that's this pencil. Still making progress on it. For the letter H, I have the Huda Beauty Liquid Matte Lipstick in Muse. So I didn't make very much progress on this last month. And I mean, this is a, be a beautiful liquid lipstick. I just, I may have used it once. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I kind of want to get a full size of this, to be honest. Because I really do love this shade. And I don't hate this formula, which is surprising because I usually don't like liquid, like matte lipsticks, but I don't hate this. Yeah. Okay, for the letter K, I have the Kate Somerville Exfoliate Intensive Exfoliating Treatment. So previous to today, now I have used this, but previous to today, I had just been shining a light through the bottle to like mark my progress. And today I kind of did the thing where you shake out, you know, try to get as much excess air out as possible. And I really wasn't able to make a mark new line. So I, I didn't. And, you know, I probably have made progress. I know I've made progress on this because I've used it a couple of times, but you know, I can't really see visible progress in the tube, but that's okay. We'll just, you know, eventually it'll be done. It's slow going on this. I don't use it every day. There was a day where I used the Peter Thomas Roth peeling gel and my skin was like, oh, that's a lot of exfoliating. So I really, I think I may have used, I probably used this only once last month, but yeah. So still working on it. For the letter L, I have the Laura Mercier Matte Radiance Baked Powder in Highlight 01. So my goal for this was just to kind of flatten the dome, which I feel like I've done that. I've talked about this before. I just use this here and there. It's kind of like the um, powders in my the palettes I have in my 21 and 21 project. I just use it when I use it, you know, it's still going. I feel like I've done pretty good on this. Hmm. Hmm. For the letter T, I have the Tarte Chrome Paint in Frosé. I don't know if I'm gonna hit my goal on this, to be honest. So here is the product. My phone just fell. I mean, I've definitely made progress on this. I've used it. I just don't know where like the bottom of the, you know, pan is. I don't know where the bottom of the glass jar is. I don't know. I don't know where it is. I didn't use it today. I did green today. Can you guys believe I did use green eyeshadow? Andrea, you should be proud of me. I used it. <laughs> okay. For the letter X, I have the MAC eyeshadow in Hope. And I, you know, I haven't used this a bunch either. To be honest, I've been focusing on some other shadows. Natasha Denona Amhara. 
So this hasn't gotten as much attention and love, to be honest. It's just kind of mm, poor thing. It, and the thing with this is that it's just there's it's so packed so tightly that you can use it and use it and use it and there's like it doesn't even look like you used it. Okay, so anyway, there. Now this is irritating for the letter Z. I have the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in a Maze. It was like, I thought the last time I used this, I was like, okay, my pan is coming. It's coming. And then now it looks like I covered up the button. Like, what happened? My button is gone. I don't know. I don't know what happened. I used it the last time and I was like, where is that pan? I don't know where it went. I feel like the dip is deeper in there, but you know, what you can usually tell like the, the, you see the telltale sign of the little button and it's not there. Anyway, I, I didn't swatch these. Whoops. So there's a maze. It's really pretty. It's better over a glitter glue. Here's Here's hope. Oh. So pretty. I love that as like my, like the second crease shade that I use. And there's Rosé. Whoops, there's Rosé. So pretty. It's gorgeous. So anyway, guys, that is my update for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you are doing well and staying safe. Please hit that subscribe button and I'll see y'all next time. Bye. I'm so excited to have three things out of this project. And three big ones too. So excited. And today we have a drink. Today it's Bailey's. Cause I'm out of wine. What am I doing? Well, I'm out of like, not high end, expensive wine for special occasions. I need to go to the store. Mmm, yummy. Oh, this is all twisted. Ziggy, come here. It's Friday. I just submitted a bunch of evaluations. It's like evaluation season at work. They're done. As we would say in Turkish, Sharafe. Mm hmm. Hey guys, it's Jalen. Welcome back. I'm here today to do my update for the Beauty A to Z project pan. <laughs> Obviously, it's October not October. It's September. It's September. You know, it's getting close to the end of the year. Getting. So anyway, guys, that is my update for today. Hopefully you are doing. No, that is not how I do that. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, there's a gnat in here. <laughs> Bye.